So, earlier this week, I was on Twitter, and I stumbled upon an article from Pro Football Talk talking about Super Bowl odds. And in the article, the Texans have the third best odds in the AFC to making the Super Bowl. And then I went to the replies, and a lot of people were like, what the hell, the Texans, the Texans, what the hell, the Texans, the Texans suck, you know? Let me wonder, you know, how realistic are these odds? And can the Texans actually make a Super Bowl this season? Now, when you take a look at the AFC, of course, the only two teams that were on top of the Texans were, one, the Patriots, understandably so, I mean, they're the Patriots, and two, the Steelers, which, you know, they do have their issues, but I do think they're number two in the conference. But after them, if you really start looking around in the AFC, is there really any other team that is undeniably better than the Texans like without a doubt in your mind is there any other team that you can say for a fact that is better than the Texans because if you take a look at the AFC East the Bills yeah they made the playoffs last year but they don't have a quarterback they suck they're not they're not going anywhere the Dolphins they got rid of their best defensive player and offensive player all in one season they're not going to go anywhere the Jets yeah, they're not going anywhere. Take a look at the AFC North. Okay, yeah, we got the Steelers. We already said those. The Ravens? With Joe Flacco? Yeah, they're not going anywhere. The Bengals? The Bengals are the definition of mediocre. The Browns? Come on, dude. Hugh Jackson's there. They're not going anywhere. If you if you come down to the AFC South, you can definitely make an argument for the Jaguars, but at the end of the day... The Jaguars have no receivers, and they don't have a quarterback. I think the Texans are slightly better than the Jags because of Deshaun Watson. The Titans? The Titans have no stars on their team. Their secondary is completely overrated. They have no receivers. They have a terrible head coach. The Colts? Please, dude. The Colts? They're a joke. And then the AFC West. The, the Raiders? I, I think John Gruden is going to be a complete bust up there in Oakland. Even then, Oakland's not really all that talented. All they have is an O-line and Khalil Mack. The rest of the roster is pretty bad and old. So, Oakland's not really going to do anything. Denver? Their head coach, Vance Joseph, he's really bad, and I don't trust Case Keenum at all. I don't think the Broncos can do anything. The Chiefs? The Chiefs just got rid of their quarterback, and now they don't have a quarterback because Mahomes sucks. Their defense sucks. They traded their best corner away. Yeah, they get Eric Berry back, but, I mean, their defense sucks. They have no quarterback. Their O-line's abysmal. The Chiefs aren't going anywhere. And the Chargers. Now the Chargers, I can definitely see them challenging for a playoff spot. I can definitely see them challenging the Texans. They have a good set of wide receivers. They have Melvin Gordon. They have Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa as a crazy pass rushing duo. They have a crazy secondary with Casey Hayward, Jason Verrett, and they just drafted Derwin James. I mean... The Chargers and the Jaguars are really the only teams I can see kind of making a case for being better than the Texans. But again, I take Bill O'Brien over whatever coach the Chargers have any day of the week. And I take Deshaun Watson over Blake Bortles any day of the week. That's obvious. So, yeah, I think these odds are justified. I do think the Texans are the third best team in the AFC. Therefore, they do have the third best odds 
to making the Super Bowl because the AFC is at an all-time week right now. It really is. So, it's kind of there for the Texans now. Can the Texans realistically make a Super Bowl with the roster they have? Okay, look. The Texans' biggest issues right now, I'd say, are offensive tackle and corner. Yes, we drafted Jermaine Kelly and brought in Aaron Colvin, but the Texans had three terrible corners last year. And they really only fixed the one spot with Aaron Colvin. So that leaves two spots that are terrible. But I will say this, with the addition of Justin Reed and Tyron Matthew, the Texans won't be getting beat deep anymore. And the Texans will be able to close out games because those are just the type of players that Tyron Matthew and Justin Reed are. They're players that can close out games with an interception. So, I do think, secondary-wise, despite not really addressing corner all that much, I do think we are way better. In fact, we also get, you know, Watt back, we get Merciless back. And not only that, we added Duke Ezio for, who I think is going to be huge for the Texans because that gives them a complimentary pass rusher, which they haven't really had since, like, 2012 when Merciless was a rookie and Connor Barwin was starting opposite Brooks Reed. So, that's really going to give the Texans another huge boost. And as for their offensive line, yes, they didn't really do much about offensive tackle, but the interior offensive line is vastly improved. I mean, you got Zach Fulton, who was extremely good for Kansas City last year. He was graded a top four pass protector as a guard last year, so that's really good. He's going to be able to protect Deshaun Watson. And the other guard, whether it's Senio Kilometi or if it's Jeff Allen at the left guard spot, that's going to be a huge upgrade over Suofilo because Suofilo was terrible. So the interior offensive line definitely got better. And right now we're kind of like in the hoping mode with the offensive tackles because Martinez Rankin, I think he's going to be good for the Texans. I'm not sure if he's going to be a good day one, but in the future, he will be a good offensive lineman for the Texans, whether it's inside or outside. He will be good. Can he start day one? That's yet to be seen. Maybe he takes over that right tackle spot, but I will say this. It's kind. It's going to be kind of hard to be worse than Breno Giacomini, so we got that going for us. And in terms of left tackle, I, I kind of do believe in Julian Davenport. I think Julian Davenport will you know, take some steps forward and be a solid starter for us. He did shut down TJ Watt and Jabal Sheard for the last two weeks of the season. And the receivers too. We got Kiki Koti and he's a true slot receiver. The the guy was ranked as the best slot receiver in college football that season. So they also have that going for them. And yes, I know the tight ends weren't really addressed properly. But I mean, yes, it didn't. The tight end position, in my opinion, didn't get better, but it also didn't get worse because we're still kind of in the same position we were last year. So the Texans definitely got better. So how does this improve their chances to get to the Super Bowl? Well, the Patriots. The Patriots are the team you have to beat. The Patriots destroyed the Texans in the fourth quarter with deep balls because Brady had all day to throw. That's pretty much what it came down to. Deshaun Watson was pretty much scoring at will. So I expect that to pretty much happen again. When the Texans and Patriots face off week one and when they face off in the playoffs, I expect Deshaun Watson to be able to score whenever he wants. Especially now that you're adding Kiki Koti in a better offensive line. Now, can the defense get some pressure on Brady late in the game? Can the secondary stop those big plays from happening? That determines whether or not the Texans can make the Super Bowl this season. And my answer to that is, absolutely. With the addition of Duke Ejiofor, if Duke Ejiofor can come along fine, 
then they can definitely get some pressure on Tom Brady. But even then, I have 100% faith in Tyron Matthew and Justin Reed back there in the secondary. Maybe not on J.J. and Kareem Jackson and Kevin. Maybe not on them. But I do trust our safeties. The safety is the last line of defense. And I just don't see Tyron Matthew and Justin Reed letting these small receivers snag all over them. Or dropping an interception like Corey Moore. So, I do think the Texans have a good chance of reaching the Super Bowl. And I do think they are the third best team in the AFC. I do think they have the third best odds in the AFC to make the Super Bowl. So, that's all I really have for you guys today. Comment down below if you guys believe the Texans have a realistic chance to make the Super Bowl this season. And if not, then damn, you're mean. Anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.